What up, it's me, AZ, and we're back with more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time we finished up at Jabba Jabba's Belly, we beat frigging the boss Baronade and had quite possibly the most annoying time of my life. Holy crap. Oof. Just the uh, post traumatic stress disorder or whatever of it. Anyway, so yeah, we finished Jabba Jabba's Belly. We got the Zora Sapphire. We got engaged, apparently, because it's the Zora's engagement ring. But most importantly, I'll let you show it on the quest screen right now. We have all three spiritual stones and 26 golden skull chillers. Okay, good to know. But yeah, so we have all three spiritual stones, meaning we can go to Hyrule Castle right now and progress the story. But we're not going to do that because we have some business that we need to do. First of all, roll into this tree, golden skull chiller. This is mainly going to be a gold skull chiller episode. There's a lot of gold skull chillers that we need to get. So I almost forgot there was a gold skull chiller here. Also, something that I almost forgot is that I think it's here or it's... Yeah, it's right here. Here we go. If we walk in here... We got a fairy's fountain, a great fairy fountain. I almost forgot about this. I was going to start the episode just like skipping this. I almost forgot this existed, so... <laughs> thank God I remembered. <laughs> Damn it. Ah. Not even going to play rhythm this time. Screw it. But yeah, thank God I remember this. I would have gone on. I, I don't remember what this one is. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I know what it is. And let me just see if I'm correct on what this one is. We'll find out in a minute once she's done laying around all seductively. <laughs> you know, that's a young boy you're hitting on, young uh, young lady. <laughs> also, you're way too polygonal. <laughs> Alright? Curves, not edges. <laughs> <laughs> Curves, not edges. <laughs> Put a pin on that one. <laughs> anyway, I think, yeah, we are totally getting what I thought we would be getting. So... Our magic spell here that we will receive and be bestowed upon us is now a green ball of wind, Ferora's wind. This is warp magic you can use with the C stick. When you are warp, when you are in danger, you will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create a warp point. So when you use the magic again, it's just telling you either dispel the warp point you created, or you can warp to that point. So, this is warp magic that you can only use in dungeons. Yeah, I was just gonna say, you can use Ferrara's Wind only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside, okay? And when battle has made you weary, we shall go to her again. <laughs> curse. Curse, not edges. What the shit is wrong with me? Okay, so Ferrara's Wind, it's pretty much just. its You can make a warp point in a dungeon. So, if you don't wanna backtrack, you can just use Ferrara's Wind to just warp around. I don't really use it that much myself. I'm not saying it's useless, it does have its uses, but it's just, personally, I myself, I don't really use Ferrara's Wind. I kind of just walk around because, I don't know. Sometimes I forget where I'll put my warp points and they'll just warp me to the most inconvenient place. But, not to say Ferrara's Wind is not useful, it is. It, it, it definitely has its uses, depending on the person, but like I said, I personally don't really use it. Anyway, as we can see, Princess Ruto is back. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Did my most precious possession help you in your quest? Uh, we haven't used it yet, so... Whee! <laughs> Alright, so, like I said, this is going to be the cleanup episode where we just get a bunch of Skulltulas and uh, a bunch of stuff, so... We're gonna be warp warping around all of Hyrule Field and all these places here, uh, getting old Skulltulas. So, montage time, ladies and gentlemen, I will meet you... Actually, there's really no point in cutting away... Oh, no, because now I just thought of what I could do. Yeah, we'll start off montaging. First of all, let's make it nighttime. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Now, come on! Play the stupid... Play that funky music right, white boy. <laughs> there we go. I always said... Uh, I know the lyrics to that song, it's play that funky music, right, boy. I always thought he was saying play that funky music, white boy. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm just weird like that. Now, I know there's a golden sculpture around here. I know there's one around here. Is there? Hang on. Let me get my boomerang out. I need my... Because I need my boomerang, obviously, to get the tokens. Let me see. I know there's one here. Or is that not now? Maybe that's not. Okay. But I know there's, there's one right down there. There's one right down there. Now, we could just, you know, walk down, but we have a boomerang, and we're lazy, and we backflip! Aha! All right. So now, with that gold sculpture out of the way, I guess I'll get more later on, but uh, what I want to do now is 
Hmm. No, you know what? I'll get more golden. Actually, no. I'm gonna go back into... I'm gonna go back inside because I need to go back inside because we need to go to Lake Hylia because there's something we need to do at Lake Hylia. <laughs> Repetition. While we're at it, let's just make it daytime really quick. Just for the sake of making my life easier. Hang on. Yes, the waterfall opened. Alright, daytime. There we go. Because from what I want to do, it needs to be daytime over at uh, at Lake Hylia. <laughs> Which I remember I showed off Lake Hylia like really, really briefly. You know, in I think it was episode 11. But there is something that we want to do there. Alright, let's just quickly go over here. Where is it now? Where's the entrance? There it is, right down there. So, diving down to Lake Hylia. Once we get down over here. There we go. Alright. There we go. Oh, there's the music. I was wondering, like, wait, where the hell is the music? <laughs> it's a little bit alarming. Alright. Now, there should... There is. Perfect. Okay. Uh, where are my bugs? Where are my little boogs? <laughs> oh, this just reminded me of what I was talking about. The freaking... Well, I recorded Mario Maker earlier today. No. I recorded Mario Maker earlier today for the first time in, like, two months. I ended up talking about, uh, that Seth MacFarlane thing with the Scotsman that can't keep his mouth shut. And... <laughs> <laughs> My little bugs. There's like one point where he's talking about, uh, what's it? Star Trek 2. You know, he, you know what I'm talking about. Like that, uh, cavalcade of, uh, miniature cartoons that Seth MacFarlane, the creative family guy, did. Where, you know, one of them is just an angry Scotsman who can't shut up and he just keeps going like, Oh, you're not using your brain! <laughs> but yeah, there's one point where he's talking about Star Trek 2. <laughs> and he just mentions, you know, don't go into the, you know, don't go into the spaceship. Ricardo Moltenbahn's there. He's got little boogs and he put the boogs in your ears. Yeah, I, I, I know. Yeah, yes, that's the song that we sang for that scarecrow, but yeah. You put the little boogs in your ears and you're gonna go crazy. <laughs> oh, no, don't go! That's Ricardo and Martin Bond with his boogs. <laughs> and you put the boogs in your ears and you're gonna go crazy. You got no one to blame but yourself because you're not using your brain. Anyway, so, uh, one of our main attractions for today. Oh, God. Oh, God almighty. Help my poor, broken, tattered soul. We're going fishing. Yup. Hey, buddy. You want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Yes. Today you can feel the vibration. Oh, yeah, oh God. All right, so we're going fishing. Uh, I skipped the rules because it's really self-explanatory. So what you want to do is you want to you want to catch a big fish, and not just six pounds. You want it to be like the biggest one possible. Hang on. So you can Z target on the fish, but it's really not that recommendable. So the more you hold down Z. I mean, the more you hold down B, the better chance you have of getting a fish to hook onto that line. I think B bobs it around. If you press down on it, that's how you can hook him. Alright, those are just a little guppy fish. Nobody cares about those. I think the big fish are going to be on that side. Ugh, I never really liked this fishing minigame. This minigame always took freaking forever. Alright. Alright, let's see. Now you want to be careful. You want to be careful not to move it around because that will scare the fish away. Alright, fish. 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 Ah! Alright, and then when he grabs it on, you want to, like, swing the remote. Uh, the remote. You want to swing your con the control stick left and right, just, you know, so it reduces the chances of breaking out. I probably got a small one. That kind of looks like, yeah, only three pounds. No, no, I don't want to keep it. Damn it. Okay. So I'm probably going to cut away until I find a whopper. Because you want a whopper. You want a big one. Like that one. There he is, right there. Alright. Grab on. Come on, buddy. Damn it. You swam off. Right, maybe I need to get closer on the other side. No. I want you. There we go. I think you. You should now be in my range. Perfect. Okay. Come on, you big bastard. Grab onto my line. Come on. Come on. Come on, you big bastard. Grab it. Grab it! Dang. Okay, grab it this time, would you? I never liked this minigame because the fish will sometimes, they will just not grab on. 
You will leave that line there, and you'll have it, like, swinging around. There we go! Okay. Okay. There we go. Alright. Now, again, the big ones are harder to catch. So, don't just pull back on the stick. You want to, like, swing it left and right just to make sure it doesn't break loose. There we go. Because if you just pull down, you have to hold A button while you're doing this. You have to hold A. Okay. Okay. Fish! 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 Come here. Gotcha! There we go. We got a Whopper. Wow, this is a real... or a Lunker. 10 pounds. I think this should be good. Let's see. I think a 10 pounder should be enough. I hope. I hope a 10 pounder is enough. We will find out right now. Because I know there are bigger fish that you can catch, because, uh, spoiler alert, we're going to be doing this again. <laughs> as much as I hate to say it, we are going to be doing this minigame again. Alright, let me just shuffle back around, because this is the fastest way of travel that I can think of. But yeah, we are going to be doing this again. I think 10 pounds should be enough for this first go. Alright, uh, weigh my fish. Whoa! This fish is huge! It looks like a new record! It weighs at least 10 pounds! Seriously! Okay, here's your prize. Please, please... Yes, heart piece! Good, we did it! Okay. I, I don't remember exactly how many pounds it needs to be. Alright, we're done. Let's, uh, yeah, I wanna quit. Yeah. Anyway, he says come back when we're older, so that's another thing we wanna remember. A lot of things referring to, you know, remember this place when you're older. Come back in like, five, six years, whatever. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Anyway, um, I'm gonna now finally go back to montaging these gold sculptulas. So I'm gonna meet you... You know what? First place I'm gonna meet you guys is Lon Lon Ranch. So I will see you guys there. Actually, now that I think about it, I think there's like two things we can do here in Hyrule Field. One of them, we're gonna want our bombs for this, is we drop a bomb right over here. I think we can do this right now. We should be able to do this right now. Uh, wrong place. I think it's right here in the center. I remember this. This is definitely a secret that I remember. Ah! Okay, there's a hole. I think we can do this right now. We totally can. Alright, perfect. So, I do have my Deku Shield. So, finally, we ha we're getting to deal with one of these types of Deku Scrubs right here. So, knock back his bullet. Talk to him. Alright, alright! You win. You know, in return for sparing me, I'll sell you this heart piece for 10 rupees. Yes! Absolutely worth it. So, another heart piece. There we go. I remembered this. All right, now, finally, we can also do that other thing that, you know, yeah, that other thing that I thought we could do beforehand, but we actually couldn't do because we were missing an item. And, uh, that item was, well, I guess I can't really talk about it now, but, uh, let me go to Lon Lon Ranch first. So, yeah, now I'm gonna cut down, I'm gonna cut to Lon Lon Ranch. All right, back at Lon Lon Ranch. So, last time we were here, I said there were things that we could have gotten, but we had to wait until we got a certain item before we could get everything over here. And that item was the boomerang. So, there should be a sculpture law on one of these roofs. I don't know, hang on. There's a sculpture law up here somewhere. I forget where. I hear it, hang on. There, right up there. Sculpture law right up there. Shoot it down. Problem is, you need your boomerang to get it. And backflip! Aha! <laughs> That's gonna be a thing that I do now, is just every time I get a gold sculpture from what's it, you know, with the boomerang, I'm gonna do some type of crazy hardcore parkour trick. Okay, there's another one that should be on this fence? Let me see, there's another one that's on this fence somewhere, I don't remember which side. But it's it's on it's it's on the ranch, on, on the fence of the ranch, maybe it's back here. Yeah, right over here. Right. We can just slash it. There we go. And jump attack like a boss. Jump attack like a boss. Alright. Then the there's a third one over here, which... Okay. I'm trying to remember. I know it's... It's on one of these walls here. I don't remember which wall it's on. It's weird how I'm not really, like, skipping away and montaging this. Also, at nighttime, there are birds. Gways. They're called the gways, but they're birds. Ah, uh, okay. This makes me want to talk about something. I've noticed that the general... Birds! As I was saying, the general trend seems to be that my sworn enemies, oh my god, in all of my the LPs that I've done so far, are birds. <laughs> there was there was Fluzzard in Galaxy 2, there was Farfetch'd in Fire Red, fucking stupid duck, and then there was also the, uh, I guess the, the legendary birds that kind of gave me trouble, Zapdos in particular, and now, now we have the owl, the chickens, and now these gways, these crows, birds, stupid birds. I don't like birds. Have you not figured it out? <laughs> Alright. Now I'm gonna meet you back at, uh, what's it? 
Kakariko Village, because if I'm correct, actually, let me just heal up really quick before I, there we go, good, if I'm correct, we should have, yep, thir over 30 Skullshell is perfect, but, uh, I'm gonna meet you over at that place that, um, what's it, I'm gonna meet you over at that one place that I thought I could handle before, but actually couldn't, so I'm gonna cut away to go there, alright, here we are at this tree, so at this tree, drop a bomb, go away, Skull Children, good, there. Jesus H. Alright. Hop down this hole. And there is going to be a giant skull shell. Alright, wait for no no no. No, no. Go down. Jump tack dead. Alright. See, I thought you could just do I thought you just needed bomb to do this, but it turns out the skull shell is up there and you need the boomerang to get it. So, you know, foolish on me thinking that we could have gotten it earlier than we were supposed to. Backflip! Aha! <laughs> uh, this is going to be one of my favorite trends. So now that we have over 30 gold sculptulas, I'm going to end this uh, video off in Kakariko Village. As we go and we collect a certain reward. Alright, so with 30, I believe it's 33 now. 33 gold sculptulas. We go in here. And we see that this guy over here has now been freed from the curse. Oh, the curse has been broken! Thank you, here's a reward for you. And this is quite possibly the best reward you can get out of them all. The giant wallet! What a huge wallet! You can now carry up to 500 rupees! So, yup, we now have the biggest wallet in the game. We can now carry the maximum amount of rupees in the game. 500. And believe me, this is gonna be useful to us. But, yup, that's pretty much all I wanted to do in this episode. We got some skull shell cleanup, we got the giant wallet, and we got two heart pieces. So, yep, I think we're pretty much done. We're gonna cut it here. Next time, we're gonna, um, I guess do a little bit more side questing. We're actually gonna head over to Hyrule Castle and, uh, get some important stuff done because Zelda wanted us to go to Hyrule Castle. So I think we're just gonna start off with that. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with more Ocarina of Time. You know what? You stupid chicken! All this trouble that you put me through, all this pain, all this suffering for the stupid bowling. Screw you, chicken. Come here. Come here. No, I'm turning you into dinner. I'm turning you into dinner. Am I floating in midair? Oh, God, I'm floating in midair. That, I don't know if that... Oh, God! Oh, no, they're attacking! The chickens are attacking! They're from... They're everywhere! No! I'm sorry! I didn't mean it! Leave me alone! No! Go away! I didn't mean it! Stop it! Where are all these chickens coming from?